hello guys uh, welcome back in this video let's have a look on the brush stroke types so here uh, i'm in the standard brush which uh, i can generally use to you know apply strokes however the uh, pen tablet is uh, you know working on it the pressure sensitivity is working to my brush you can go to the preferences and you have a use tablet option which can generally uh, make the pressure sensitivity work and there are some settings for the size the z intensity and the color sensitivity and lazy pressure etc this is uh, the global setting here and in the brush in the brush what you have picked uh, we'll have a tablet uh, column here you can open that and uh, you should able to see uh, the graph represents what should be the minimum amount of uh, you know pressure taking the size value and the maximum pressure taking the size value and this can be controlled through the graph so you can enable global settings which can take the preferences of that for any brush you are using it uh, so it can differ from brush to brush so again you have the size z intensity and color etc here so right now i'm just clicking and dragging and you should be able to see it's very smooth uh, in terms of stroke is concerned uh, let me just go and then explore the types of strokes we have so dots and freehand looks almost the same uh, dots is like when I'm just clicking and dragging uh, the number of interactions my stroke is doing with the surface every time the the stroke is dropped there whereas the free hand uh, is not really considering that it's actually filling the gaps between the stroke to stroke the gap what we have it's basically filling with that so in terms of result you may not see much difference but yeah this is more smoother version we have a drag rectangle drag rectangle uses alpha let me go to the dots and then choose the alpha of the brush like in this case i'm using this uh, flower and then when i'm clicking and dragging it's dropping that strokes there uh, so when i choose drag rectangle i need to click and drag to get that stroke working you can also play with the intensity to amount of stroke i mean amount of displacement it should generally do so uh, when i'm just uh, clicking and dragging at a particular point that's the placement where you are actually placing the stroke and if i click and drag i'm able to control the size but i'm not able to control the placement the size can be controlled interactively and orientation of the stroke can also be controlled interactively so that's uh, something cool about this brush uh, we have a dot which is like uh, the size is controlled by your brush click and drag now you can able to control the placement wherever you want this to be placed and based on the uh, stroke uh, path the orientation is you know controlled by that only so again um, you can take specific control over the orientation also so that's dot for you and if i take the smaller brush the the model would look very small so i can keep placing more such displacements or surface relief to the model we have the spray uh, when i'm using the spray it you know uh, splatters that stroke randomly around the stroke which we have applied however i can increase the placement where the strokes will fall apart from the stroke very far from each other we also have uh, flow randomness this is all random values okay these four values what i'm getting so flow randomness will generally make uh, strokes with different intensity and then uh, you have color randomness and then you have a scale randomness so if I put the scale randomness to one, all the strokes what we apply comes with different sizes. Uh, if I choose that to zero, all stroke size would be of same. So you can give variation in all that as per your requirement. Okay. Uh, so we have color spray, which is uh, generally used to paint colors. Okay. So while I'm using the stroke, I can enable the uh, RGB thing and uh, I can start painting. So I go to poly painting and choose colorize and then gen when, uh, when I just start painting it, just a minute, colorize. So uh, I'm just taking the stroke. I will switch off the Z add and then you should able to see I'm able to paint on my model. Uh, so if I go to the stroke here and then put the color variation, I get a lot of variation in the color. While if I choose this value to zero, I don't get that color variation. However, the placement is actually making that stroke to fall apart. So you want to create that nice texture on the model. You can really do that with uh, this particular feature. Okay. So these are all brush, uh, you know, types. I mean, uh, the stroke types, what you have in the standard brush. And there are a lot of other things about brush you can control, which we can see in some other videos. Thank you.